Your life is five, four, three. So, we are just put it on gallery view. Okay, sir. Yeah. So, good evening, everyone, and uh, welcome to this Let's Talk WhatsApp webinar. And I have with me my very good friend who has taught me a lot about WhatsApp and WhatsApp marketing. He is Mr. Rishi Ganguly. He himself is a digital expert in digital marketing and he has created a lot of softwares in this lockdown and also before that to help businesses uh, generate more revenue online. He worked with Apple when Steve Jobs was alive and has a tech experience over 25 years. His main services were lead generation, SEO, ads, email marketing, website and apps. He also runs an online school with trainers and coaches who deliver their courses to their students in a blended model with pre-recorded videos and online live sessions. Uh, it's fun to know that he lives on a farm just two hours drive from Mumbai with high speed internet. And he's a very nice person. It's amazing to work. He says that when he is surrounded by trees, mountains and lake, when we were all living in the lockdown, he was in a pond enjoying in the open air. So welcome Rishi. And uh, for everyone else, uh, we just start with right now with a small presentation uh, on WhatsApp. Everybody was scared about the WhatsApp privacy policy, but I think now uh, as the pandemic fatigue has set in and everybody is now not, no more scared of COVID. So many people have not scared of uh, the WhatsApp also. But just to give you a small brief, let me share my screen and tell you something about WhatsApp recent changes, some tips and uh, just some tips about WhatsApp in 2021. So for people who don't know me, I am Dr. Neeraj Vijlani. I am co-founder of Ortho TV. I am, a, I am also a consultant orthopedic surgeon practicing in Chembur, Mumbai, having my own orthotech clinic. Coincidentally, Rishi also is from Chembur. So in 2021, there is a privacy policy update of WhatsApp. They wrote to you that we are updating our terms and conditions and you have to agree. Otherwise, WhatsApp stops working for you. So 99% of the people, I think, agreed. But what did they change is very, very important. So what they changed was mainly for WhatsApp business. That the decision to chat with the business on WhatsApp is entirely yours. And you can always remove or block businesses, which I'm going to show you later on. Such businesses will be able to share your data with Facebook so that you can get proper Facebook ads. They are saying technology provider, but basically they are sharing your data. If your contact is, if you're dealing with the WhatsApp business, then there was always a recall. What is your, what is, what do they do with their data? How much account information they have, which you can always download from their settings, WhatsApp settings. Somehow they say that the privacy and security of personal chats with your family and friends will never change. So supposing you're chatting with someone who's not using a WhatsApp business account and a plain WhatsApp account, then there is no changes for them. And they do not share your contacts, which you give access to WhatsApp on Facebook. Neither they share your location. Neither WhatsApp can read or hear. This is all mentioned on their website. This is all picked up from their website. Of course, you have control over your data. You can block a business. WhatsApp automatically will never give uh, your number to the business. And no business will be able to contact you without your approval as per WhatsApp policies. So if supporting somebody contacts you, you can always block them. And of course, you can put up a privacy feature between chatting with a business to dis their messages disappear. So these privacy settings we are going to talk about very soon. So it does not increase your WhatsApp's ability to share data with its parent company, Facebook. So in short, WhatsApp is saying we were already doing it. Now we are just telling you that we are doing it. So there is no change. So as you can see that this is all picked up from their website, you message disappearing messages, you can download your data, you can WhatsApp groups can re always remain private unless somebody shares the link. Now, if you wish to continue using WhatsApp, what you should do? The first thing which you should do is change your privacy setting. 
So you go into WhatsApp settings. In an iPhone, it will be down below here. And in an Android, it will be the over three dots on the top here. And then you click on settings. There is something called as account. And in account, there is some, sorry, in privacy. Sorry, I think it's an account. Let me just share my screen of the mobile so that I can show you a live demo. So let me go to WhatsApp here and I go to settings and then I go to account and then account. There is a privacy tab on the top. You click Go on privacy and this is what I have done for myself. It is your choice. What you want to do? So my last scene is nobody that especially if supposing I'm getting up in the middle of the night and I am just seeing that there is a sometimes you just tend to go or early morning or what or late night just before sleeping or seeing your WhatsApp. I don't want my last thing to be seen by anybody. So it's nobody. My profile photo is visible to my contacts. About is everyone. My about is for everyone. You can decide what you want to do. I'll tell you why it is everyone also. My groups, I can exclude some people from adding me in the group. So I'm excluded some people from adding me who keep on adding me in regular groups. And my status also I have excluded some people. So it is up to you what you want to do. You can keep it to my contacts also. Live location, my recommendation is that always should be none. And if you can see, I have blocked 186 contacts. Most important is my read receipts. I always keep it off. So if you are messaging me on this phone, you will only get a great tick. You will not get a blue tick. But WhatsApp is supposedly playing a fair game. That apna nahi dikhaoge, to hamara bhi nahi dekh sakte. So if you don't show me the blue tick, you cannot see anybody else's blue tick also. And of course, you can put a screen lock, which I had put before the lockdown. But after the lockdown, I just stopped putting it because it was too much of a tedious task for me to put the password every time. There is one more security setting which I would recommend you to do is a security setting which is called a sorry which is called a two-step verification so that your sim card cannot be even if it is swapped or even if somebody else somehow manages to hack into you have a two-step verification where you put an email address and there is a separate code which is only visible to you so that nobody can hack into your whatsapp account because nowadays everything is happening on whatsapp so it is very important to do this then we come to the next part So these are the privacy settings. You can take a screenshot of this if you want so that you can remember what you have to do next. Block, read receipts off. Live location always off. Then we come to a very small tip. In the morning when we get up, we see a lot of messages. Sometimes there are interesting videos. Sometimes there are uh, interesting PDFs, files, which we want to read. Interesting articles, especially where doctors are concerned. And you don't have time to read at that time. There is some other message comes and then that message is completely lost. So I advise you to make a private group. So how do you make a private group where only you are the person? So this is, if you see, is my private group where only I am the person. So let me show you a small trick how this is done. I'll make a private group between me and Rishi now. So I'll just go to new group and I'll just search for Rishi's contact and I'll make a private group of his which will be called something like reading. You can key name it anything which you want. I create a group and once this group is created, I'll just go inside by tapping on the reading. And if you see, there are two participants. One is me, that is you, and one is Rishi Ganguly. So what I'm going to do is that after making this group, I'm going to remove him from the group. So now I am the only participant in this group. So I can just keep on forwarding messages, documents, whatever I want to keep on WhatsApp later on for later on viewing, I can just forward this. Let me show you my read later group. So you'll be able to understand so there are some interesting articles, even see articles forwarded by Rishi and there are these YouTube videos. Then there are these some photos which I wanted, some good movies list had come. So I wanted it saved whenever I have time to see it later on. Some invoices, some common myths, something like that. So small, small things, some passwords. So there are a lot of these things which I like to save it for later and I forward it here. 
So this is like there is even my uh, insurance policy is here. So this is my read later group. So you can also forward any interesting articles, anything, any doc documents which you wish to keep here. I even have a separate uh, group called documents where again only I am the member and I have everything important files and folders which I need in the future, which I may need in the future. Somebody I want to forward a cancel check I can keep something like that. So this is what I use it for. So very simple. If you have any questions, you can ask. Otherwise, we proceed with the presentation. Yeah, I have a question. I have a question. <laughs> yes, uh, yes, I please. want to know that the idea of the private group. And <laughs> how does I think WhatsApp had brought some feature called star star message, messages. Yes. And yes. then you go to see everything. It looked like it does the same thing, but I'm assuming your your idea is better in some way. Uh, why did you feel the need for a group versus using the built in start feature? So the, I think the star came later. A group was made before. So this <laughs> idea I have been following for the last five years. <laughs> and star messages were difficult to search. And uh, what happens is that what I still use the star message, but I use it only for between in between chats. See, for example, my partner is Dr. Ashok Sham. I want to decide about, I want to start some of his messages. Then I start those and go in and search for that. So that is how I use it differently. Then documents, uh, I want to delete the, supposing I want to clear the chat. Sometimes I want to leave the group altogether. So that message will go away if I keep it start. Ah. Or supposing like you have created a temporary group of auto article, which now went away. If I would have started, this auto article would have gone because I left the group. Right, 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 right. Okay. Very valid part. So the group still has valid, even though the start feature is there. Yes. <laughs> so where did it, where is it gone? Okay. Let me share the whole screen now. Can you see my presentation? Rishi, you'll have to answer. Yeah. Oh, it's still showing the WhatsApp. Yeah, okay. now I can see. Yes. Your so, so then we go to a feature, a separate app for WhatsApp business. If you see the app is called WhatsApp business and you can install it even in your iPhone and an Android phone both. It is a separate app compared to your WhatsApp. Of course, you need another number for it. So I will just tell you what I have done. It needs to be on the same phone, need not be. You just need an OTP. This is what I've used it for communication with patients only. And there is a separate ortho TV number for it. So there are two different WhatsApp. And it has got this QR code feature, which you can put it on your website or you can just, uh, I have even uh, printed this out and put it in my clinic. So if patients want to talk to me, they just scan the QR code. They don't need to save the number. The effort is less. Rishi will show you one more feature of how to send messages to patient without saving the phone number. And of course, WhatsApp business has a lot of extra features. It has got auto message, auto replies. You can put your clinic or hospital timings. You can put a Google map link in it. You can put your catalogs. So there are even surgeons whom I have seen have put catalogs of what surgeries they do. So like pre or post operative photo and x-ray photos, MRI photos. And of course you can create short links. So this is a different app altogether. You can now install it if you want, go into play store and app store and just install it. You need a second number of course for it. And that number can only be shared with patients and you need not add any groups in it. So you patient communication and uh, communication with your patients and communication with your colleagues and friends remain separate. So they don't get mixed and plus patient and you need not. And I'll tell you what trick I have done. Uh, what trick I have done is that after starting the WhatsApp business, I removed the SIM card and gave it to my assistant. So she will receive the phone calls, but I will receive the WhatsApp. So I will receive WhatsApp messages, but if patient wants to take appointment for calling and speaking, then she will, they will speak to the receptionist. The same number WhatsApp is there on my phone, but the SIM card is there with my assistant. So I don't get disturbed with phone calls. So I don't need to share my normal number with the patients. And at the same time, I get all the, I, and at the same time, I'm still accessible to the patients on WhatsApp. So patients don't feel bad that I'm not sharing my WhatsApp number because many times they want to share their reports on WhatsApp which is okay, especially in this COVID area, they want to do a WhatsApp video consultation, which is also good. So this is one technique which I have used for myself and it is working quite well. Of course, to no more do join our, most of you are already members. You can take a screenshot of this. 
and with this i hand over to rishi he is going to take this this whatsapp what i told you one step higher that how you can still communicate and engage with your audience or your patients or your colleagues in a diff, completely different way so over to you rishi yeah yeah before before i take over i think you might want to tell people how to scan your whatsapp web like, desktop it took, i was like wondering where it show them i know where it is but it hmm. took me about 2 minutes i think for sharing that ye jo okay. you have to go to where do you go settings mein jana hai and then you go to your own name no on top yes and then you click on scan show them i'll just screen, share my screen and show them i think you should do that yes just show how because i just figured it out before you took it off your screen मैंने so अभी ट्राई करा शेयर द क्यूआर कोड विद योर मीडिया मैंने आपको मैसेज या यस सो इफ यू वांट वांट टू शेयर द क्यू सॉरी आई एम आई एम म्यूटेड नो इफ यू वांट टू शेयर द क्यूआर कोड ऑन द स्क्रीन जस्ट यू गो इनटू द सेटिंग्स एंड देन यू गो इन हियर एंड दिस इज द कोड व्हिच यू कैन डायरेक्टली शेयर एंड स्कैन इज ऑन द राइट दैट इज द वन आई वाज वांटिंग लुक फॉर लाइक हाउ डू आई गेट योर नंबर या सो यू कैन आल्सो स्कैन एनीबॉडीज क्यूआर कोड so it is uh, so as simple i will now yeah i am going to stop my screen share now rishi over to you i think there are some chats over there on the right you want to take those questions yeah. yes so we can take the yeah we can take those questions uh, how safe is the private group it is as safe as your phone and whatsapp data so anything which you are keeping on the phone it is as safe as that uh harish manglani what about patients calling on whatsapp business that is your choice if they make you a whatsapp call you can always disconnect patient will automatically get discouraged from calling you and they will uh, call the they will make a normal phone call which will go to your assistant so how to download whatsapp business on laptop when i am going to whatsapp web i am reaching to personal whatsapp but cannot reach whatsapp business that i think rishi will clear or uh, rishi sir's voice and video is not very clear rishi i think you can stop your video and just speak i think because of some net issue it may be happening okay okay no problem yeah is my voice clear now yeah it is much better i can even put the fan off in case that helps for my voice to be clearer okay i think um, what's that business on a laptop I don't know what that means actually because it's an app on the it's an app on the phone only, right? How to download WhatsApp business on laptop? Oh, I, uh, is, so let's unmute her and let her ask the question. I think that will be better for her. Right. Uh, uh, so Mona Lisa. Mona Lisa, you are doing it. Yeah, I am doing it. Yeah, Mona Lisa, you can unmute and ask the question. Yes, good evening, doctor. Good uh, evening. What is happening uh, if, uh, as we can see the personal WhatsApp on laptop also? Hmm. But for business WhatsApp, I am using the same laptop. I am trying to do the same thing, and I have gone to YouTube. They are also showing something like that, but I cannot reach. I am going to the WhatsApp with personal, not the business. Okay, Mona Lisa. Okay. Yeah, okay. I think Rishi can solve this query. Yeah, yeah, I think that's basically. For example, uh, here is here is a number right of mine, which is basically uh, this this number is my business number, right? And I in my I, I go to web dot whatsapp dot com. I don't use the desktop application, the laptop application. I use web dot whatsapp dot com, and on my regular. Um, i create another profile on chrome browser and there again i go to web.whatsapp and this is with my personal number so as long as my personal whatsapp is on one profile i can go and create another profile for my business whatsapp number you can just toggle between the two you see this is my personal one and this is my It's still loading, and this is another one. So just go and create. This is Brave browser. I think Chrome. It will look like this. I'll show you. See, I've got so many profiles here. This is uh, this is the main profile, 
and then you can click on here add add can you see yes yes so that is one way of doing it uh, what i do is i use incognito mode in the second one which mode ha huh. right show them the incognito mode for, incognito. So for example they don't want to set up another profile on chrome incognito mode is much simpler but you have to scan every time that is the only disadvantage exactly the, the incognito mode is over here basically it's an option over here called incognito window okay, okay. right but every time you go to incognito window as dr neeraj is saying you'll have to scan it every time when you create another profile that like better, you know every day you are going to go mm. yeah another profile i can you just it's a profile the add person and then you can go on exactly another profile on chrome that Perfect. will do is it Yes, 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 yes. Monali. Okay, thank you. Because there you will again have to scan the. Hmm. Every time you I'm... use the business one at the time. All right. Thank you. Yes. Now I will be. Talk... Yeah, I will be talking about an application that we have created for the Chrome browser. In fact, I use the Brave browser. Brave browser is like Chrome browser. It's a Chromium browser. Uh, it just has a different icon here, but most of the features are the same. So I go to web. WhatsApp. Com. but i have also installed one extension over here you'll see extensions there is a bulk message app pro uh, version 2 extension so now this extension uh, once it is installed it will convert your web.whatsapp.com with some additional features which you will not see on web.whatsapp for example this uh, little floating uh, box you see here which i can put on the side of it lots of numbers through a csv file and then enters one message you can attach one send one attachment maybe in your people from there you can put those 5 10 numbers here in the exclude option and submit it with one button and it will go to all those people or all those groups like i am also accessing multiple groups so this is that we give with this software this is the web.whatsapp.com uh, software to send the messages but it provides some level of um, uh, automation of sorts to send your messages one at a time in sequential order so let me just try and uh, give you an example uh, let's say i am part of this group Uh, which is H N H sixteen here. Um, I don't know, uh, Neeraj, you got some blue lines coming across here. Uh, somebody wants to play around with the screen. Um, is there a way you can control it, Neeraj? Just a minute. Is there a security setting? How can how you can stop it? Uh, I don't know. It doesn't happen on mine, but somebody is obviously playing a fool on yours. Let me try and share screen again and see if somebody is. will draw lines again if they do i don't know uh, i don't know this is the is this the free version uh, of uh, zoom no no of course it's the paid version i am just trying to stop that uh, uh wait okay. i am not the host that's why now i will stop it uh, i think achal is saying she knows how to stop it achal is from your group right right let me unmute her and let's see what she says okay. hi yeah, dr yeah. neeraj hi rishi Doctor Neeraj, I'm Hirdas Madhav, by the way, <laughs> Manish Gupta's wife. Yeah. Acha, okay. Okay. Yeah. So basically, when you share screen now, on the bar on top, there are those three dots over there. If you click that, it says disallow uh, or don't allow annotation. Yeah, I got it. I've done that. Got it. And so each time no, you, you share your screen, each time you share your screen, you have to do it because every time you stop have, share and start again, you will have to do it again. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Great. i guess this is something that is automatically disabled in my webinar version i don't know or maybe you got to go to the zoom settings to see what happens anyway in right. the webinar so version the, participants um, cannot do it in the webinar version participants cannot touch your screen yeah yeah exactly and like exactly. all right um so we have uh for example this is a group H N H sixteen, and uh, there are two hundred and forty-two participants here. Um, I know one of the group admins. 
and uh, these are their numbers i'd like to send them a message okay so i can i can download these numbers by just clicking on this icon now this icon will not be available let me just show you which icon i'm talking about i'm talking about this icon here this download icon now when i click on this download icon you'll see over here on the bottom there is a text file called hnh16 hi-fi network csv file which has got all the numbers got for me in one click which i can then drag it to this this section over here can you see the section upload csv section here so i will take this file and i will just put it over here now it has got 240 numbers to which i can send a message and then i can say hi um my name is rishi uh we are both in WhatsApp group. How are you? And you can say whatever you want and get introduced, give your background, and then I submit and it'll go to each and every person one at a time in sequential order. Okay, I can even send them an attachment if I want and, and get in touch with them. So this is a bulk uh, messaging app system. Now, you can extract numbers from the group. You can uh, extract group uh, numbers from your uh, phone book, for example, right? Is my audio and video still okay? Because I forgot I turned video back yeah, on. Yeah, yeah, audio Should is I coming. my video off? Yeah. Audio is coming. Oh, it's coming. Okay. In case my audio goes back, tell me I'll switch off my video. Yeah, sure, okay? sure. So basically, this is how we can uh, um, uh, download messages now. The next feature which I want to talk to you about is um, where you can actually go to like, see now this, I have so many hundred messages as you can see, right? So if, if I want to go to this next hundred message, like I said, okay, I have fun, kya hai? then I go to the next one. Now, sometimes I get lots of mails and they have to go down all the way and then I have to reply to this person. And once I reply to this person again, then I again I have to click on this and I'll go scroll back down and every time go down, down, down every time. Now, with this icon over here, which you can see here, it will automatically advance to the next 100 message. So it will automatically go down again. Sometimes I send to 240 people, but they have replied, replied, replied long I have to keep scrolling down. That problem goes away with this, this feature. Um, there's also one additional feature like Dr. Neeraj was saying that, you know, every time you want to send a message to somebody uh, and you have to like save their number first on the phone, then you can search for them and put their number. Now, let's say there is somebody over here on this group and this is the person's number, right? Now, I can just copy this person, like supposing you give me your number, right? And I don't save it on my, on my phone. I can click on this plus icon and just enter the number. I have to put the country code and then put the, the mobile number and open the chat. It will open that person directly. This, of course, was open because I got it through the group. But let's say you don't have them on a group or you just have a list of mobile numbers that you got. You, you can send them a message one by one by sending this plus button or you can even put them in a CSV file like the way we showed you over here. Just put all the numbers like this in our text file and upload it and invite them to maybe one of your groups. Let's say we are creating a group. I'll just put right now Gita over here and call this test group. Right. Rishi, what we can now, do to show them is that let one or two people type their number here and give it to us. Yeah, in the chat, why not? Let's do that. Yeah. So in the chat, Dr. Asim Negi, you want to try, type your number okay. and send it to here. Any of you can just type, their, type your mobile number, WhatsApp number here if you don't mind. Yeah, any five, six, whatever. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. Asim has given his number. 
I'll have to just punch it in. Eight six six five two. Five two three two. Oh, yes, it's right. No, that's not his mobile number. He's given. Okay. No, the so, number. Okay. Is... okay, let's try the another one. Next one. Nine four double two. I'll dictate it for you. So I'll make you easy. Nine four double two. Zero zero four six six. six. Uh, So you can just directly go. I didn't have the person's contact details here, right? I can just say, "Hi, can you reply if you get this message?" So I think I'll just uh, check it. That person must have got the message, and I didn't get the blue bloody. So Deshmukh or Dabey? I mean, Deshmukh can reply to this message there on WhatsApp. Ah, uh, see, there is the blue. Yes. Yeah, he's got it. Yeah. So without saving the number, Rishi could send you the chat so easily. Right, exactly. Now, this could be used for doctors. Right? This is a feature for charity for doctors where they don't want to save the number. Correct? Yes. Okay. Um. Also, I think another good feature for doctors would be that they can create a group. Right, like this test group we created. <laughs> Gita is wondering what happened. Hey, no, so we just say. Um, exactly. Let me. And this could be used for. Uh, let me see if I can add. This is a feature for helping for doctors. They they don't want to save the number, correct? Was I? I heard myself really late. <laughs> so, uh, let me just check on this. Test group, and I'm going to click on invite to group. Copy link. So those of you that want to join this test group, I put in the chat over here, and you can all. And I can make this. Um, here we go. Group settings, and we make it send messages only admins. Group information only admins. Now you can send, you can create a group for patients or something like that. Like I think Neeraj, you have one group like this, if I'm not yes. mistaken, correct? Yes, you are right. So if you want, group. I can share my screen and show what exactly I use it for. Yeah. Yeah. So, so yeah. I'm just. Go ahead. Share your screen. So, if you see, this is my WhatsApp business. The down is my personal WhatsApp. So, on the WhatsApp business, this is the special dedicated number of my clinic for my patients. So, if you see on the first, my pin chat is Doctor Neeraj Patient Care One. Always write one, so people will think that there are multiple groups. So in this, <laughs> in this you see patients have joined. Even some doctors have joined uh, using this group link. So what I do is that I put information. Sometimes it could be just an advertisement or a information about posture, patient education. Sometimes it could be just a goody part of a message, something like this. I can even put the information something where I am now when the lockdown hit for video consultation when people are not wanting to come. I can just put an information with a link that for video consultation click here. So but. Don't try to put too many advertisements in the group. Mainly, this should be patient education group. And if you see, I have kept it admin only. So only, if you, if anybody wants to know what is an admin only, go to group settings, and there is send messages only admin, edit group only admin. So you can change it to only admins. There is one more idea which has recently struck to me by a social media manager only, Rishi, that what she does is that her group is on social media discussion. So she opens the group only once a week. That you can now interact with each other or interact with me. So you can even have a one hour. You can open the group maybe for one or two hours for solving the patients or their relatives' query if you want. So it could be like a something like your community. You, you, it is slowly building up. It's just basically I have only one group, but I plan to make maybe do it more actively now with this new software. Up till now, I did not have the access to this software, but with this new software, I, I, it will help me a lot by building more groups. 
So what my idea is now to do with this software is that I will, supposing if I've seen 10 patients, I will open the web WhatsApp on my receptionist laptop. She will open it and she will just send messages of this group with the group link to all these patients. And most of them will join. If they're not interested, they will leave, but it's all right. But at least I will have a network of my patients. This is especially helpful, Rishi, for us doctors, especially when you're changing your clinics, changing your timings, yeah. or maybe getting attached to a very good hospital. Like one of my friends got attached, recently got attachment to Lilavati Hospital. So people don't know that he's attached to Lilavati okay. Hospital. So now they will know if you have already a community of patients yourself. So very important to collect data of the patients from day one. Right. right. Rishi, one more thing I wanted to ask you is that yeah. uh, the uh, in that uh, can you just share your screen? Yeah. You want to look at this group? Yeah. More than that, I wanted to ask you. Supposing if you are sending a new message, that plus, can you click on plus? Yeah. That sending. So in that, can we put a group link? Uh, no, we don't have a, we, we can, we can make a group link over here, right? We can make a series yeah. of group links. Right. Okay. So for example, on the h, h group there, okay, this is h, h group 33, h, h group 16, these are all these h, h groups 26. I have got all the group links for this, okay, from the admin. So what I've done is if I click on, um, let's say I go to my Explorer here, I have my bulk message app and here is all the h, &H groups. So I have all the group IDs. Can you see this? Yes. So all the group IDs, if I take this group ID and I put it here in the choose upload, I click here. Now all 54 groups, if I send a message over here, will go to each group and each group has got 250 members. So you can imagine that's 54 multiplied by 200, 220 members per group, you know. So that's a, that's a way you can do a bulk group message sending. So if you have many groups because you have more than 1,000, 2,000 people you want to be in touch with, you can put them in four or five groups and, and just send them. Right now I do these events. So currently my events group, there are three, I think. Yeah. There are three groups here, as you can see. I've got three, and each one of them might be having 100 to 200 people. So I, I can send one event message to all the three groups, which will go to three, 400 people in hardly any time. And that's again because we allow the group IDs, sorry, not this one, the group IDs to be entered directly here. This is the chat group IDs. Yes. So the yeah the open message what you are saying hey, we don't have that option to be entering it here but that's a good idea though we can make that as a feature request. Feature request yeah. <laughs> I will ask Harshit to see. Okay. Not yeah it'll be no not much of a but I would want to know what would it how would it matter because you already have are the admin of your group so you can just directly go to the group and send it no. Uh, why would also, why would you want to right? Yeah, it'll not it be much would of not me. serve any function. It's already there. Yeah, yeah. So, so now we'll, we'll yeah, take some questions, Rishi. I, yes. I'll just announce. Yeah, I'll announce the questions. You can answer them. So, what is the difference yes, between yes. the broad, broadcast group and the bulk app? It's massive. The difference is massive. Ah, that, yes, yes, yes. So right now, if I create a broadcast list and I add. 250 numbers in that broadcast list. If 150 people have not saved your number on their phone, they will not receive the message. Whereas in our software, it is sending each message individually and you can personalize it. If you know the name of that person, you can personalize it in the broadcast list. You cannot personalize the message. You send the message only those people who have saved your number, the WhatsApp number on their phone, will receive that message. So these are the two big differences. Personalization, and they don't have to save your phone if, if you use our application. Uh, so it takes a little bit while to get to them because it sends one message at a time, but at least it's 
first shot, you get verification that you got a double blue tick and you can use this app. Yeah. Please stop your video. Okay. Stopping my video. All right. Sorry. I hope. Should I repeat that last portion which I spoke last, Neeraj? Was I uh, un not audible or something? Uh, Neeraj, are you yes. there? Yes, yes, of course. And the diff next is uh, next question is uh, is the bulk message that I answered bulk message feature available on personal account also or only on business account? It's available for both, right? Yes, yes. It doesn't matter because it uses web.whatsapp.com to send out the message. So, yeah, Mr. Kumar is asking, can we get a demo for WhatsApp marketing as we need little practice to do? Yes, yes, of course. We can give you a, a free demo. Try it out for a couple of days before you actually decide to buy it. In fact, I usually insist on the free demo because I prefer people first checking it out, making sure it works, rather than uh, listen to complaints later that it, this doesn't work and that doesn't work. So please test it out before you buy it. Okay. And uh, Komar is asking, if you want a broadcasting group, if in a marketing group, it, I don't want to see each other members. So I think that is not possible. That WhatsApp privacy, that WhatsApp will allow your numbers to be seen, right, Rishi? Yes, correct. Yes, groups will not, cannot be cannot prevent your number of being exposed. So ideally, you should not have your competitors on that group unless unless you are that good and you don't care about your competitors because people will come to you anyway because you're good. So <laughs> I mean, we, you know. Uh, me and Anup, we've discussed this before and uh, there are sometimes people who are from our industry that come and join our groups and of course they, they come there to learn and then teach other people the same concept which is fine as far as we are concerned the market is too big and we are, and we are not scared of the competition there's, there's enough there's enough of opportunity and and may the best man win <laughs> so yeah that's my take on the whole other people seeing other people's numbers on the same group yeah uh, as far as Dr. I saw, Monalisa, uh, yeah, go ahead. Dr. Monalisa is asking if said to only admin, many people send direct message to admin. Any way to block that? You can block them, right? Yeah, and I they can in the group. I'm sorry, I didn't get the question. I, I didn't get the question. So, Monalisa is saying that if your group is only admin, there are many people who will send direct message to the admin. Any way to block that? Uh, yeah, use the block feature of WhatsApp because it is, I would suggest remove such people who are directly sending a message. If you sp explicitly have told them not to, in my case, I don't mind if somebody, if I send a broadcast message on my events group, let's say, for example, I have three events groups, right? Now in the events group, nobody can post any question in the events group, right? Let me share my screen. Now, this is an event I posted on uh, this Sunday. Rubina was being invited. She's the founder and CEO of the uh, h, h group. And I wanted her to talk about h, &H in, in my in my weekly webinars. Now, I've given the link to register. But somebody, if they want to ask a question about what, what exactly is this, they can write to me personally. And I'm more than happy to, to reply to them because I'm, I'm sending them information about my event. Now, I'm curious to know what kind of a group are you creating for you to broadcast messages and you don't want people to talk to you directly? I would be curious to know what the what the purpose of that group is. I'm I'm all pro people connecting with me directly. Does that make sense, uh, Dr. Neeraj, what I'm saying? Yes, yes, yes. Oh, so Maybe, uh, now one more question is there. Can we send one message to all our WhatsApp contacts in bulk WhatsApp app in one time? Yeah, it, 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 you can send it by clicking the button once, but, but it takes seven to 10 seconds to deliver each message. So if you have 100 people on your contacts, then it will send 107 minutes it will take to deliver. If you have 1,000 contacts in your phone, then you will send 1,007, whatever, into seven seconds that means rishi i remember when you demoed this you made a google sheet yeah. and uh, i think everybody filled that google form with their name and number and then yeah. you demoed it 
So I think we should do that once a demo. What do you think? I think it's a great idea. Give me a so everybody can understand what how it how this is different from the uh, the normal broadcast. Sure, sure. No, no problem. I'll do that right now. So I'm just creating a little form right now. Give me one moment. Yeah. So Rishi will now send a Google form. Just fill up the details in the Google form, and then he will share the screen, and he will show you how this how this actually works magically. Yeah. Now let me do that. Let me share my screen, and I'll show them how I'm creating the form as well. So here is my. Uh, I go to forms. Google. If you go to forms. Google. Com. I'll just create a new form here, in which I'll ask for just uh, two pieces of information. Uh, this is Ortho TV WhatsApp form. Just uh, I don't want the email address, so I can go to set, change settings. I don't need email. Okay, so first thing I just need is. Is the first name? I hope people actually put in just their first name and not their full name with their credentials like doctor and so on and so forth. WhatsApp number, and I can actually <coughs> insist on a response validation where I will take number. Number. Give a little explanation here to say, please give me. Example: Enter your country code plus and WhatsApp number. Example: Right. So now I'll say <clears throat> set the view this form. So this is the view form. And in the chat, I'm going to paste to everyone the link. So you guys can now actually click the link which I have given you and enter your name and your form. And I'm going to just create a new spreadsheet. And I'm going to open it. Uh, so I request you all to just uh, who would like to participate to first name and your number on on the link on the chat. So I think Dr. Neeraj, you can set an example. Oh, there we go. We've got Sumed, Asif, Manjunath. Um, ideally, it would have been great if they all entered the their country code. I think only Sumer got the instructions right. I have seemed to have forgotten to put the nine one, but that's okay. I can uh, I can add the nine one to all the numbers over here automatically through software. I bought some additional Google spreadsheet application. So we've got um, Kumar Anchal also filling it up. Oh, we have Murli that again. Hi there, Rajiv. So Rajiv is obviously from nine seven seven, which is a different country. I wonder what that country is. Nine seven seven. Nepal. Wow. Interesting. And then we have Mahendra. And we have Sri. It's great. I guess we cannot access this Google sheet. So you don't need the Google sheet. You just need the Google form for which you have already filled in Asim. Yeah, 977 is Nepal. Great. So I think we've got about 12, 13 people now. Dr. Pooja Patel has also entered their number. Les Lobo. Less, I think you need to punch in the number in the Google form. Just click the Google form and enter your details there. The whole point is to get it in the form, not in the chat. Thank you. Please don't put your number in the chat. Please enter 
the details in the Google form. The Google form is in the chat. If you click on the link, if you scroll up in the chat, check the chat. There's a link I have sent to everyone. And you need to put your number there, Liz. Go scroll up in the chat and look for the link, which says docs.google.com. When you tap on that, or when you click on that, you'll get a form. In that form, you can enter your name and your number. I think we'll give another minute and then we'll just take whatever we've got. Those who who are able to open the form and enter their number. That's good. The form, by the way, looks like this. Ortho TV WhatsApp form, first name, WhatsApp number. You need to put in your name. You put it in your number. Like, for example, I'm going to put in my name, Rishi, and then I want to put my number, 919322727315. And I click on Submit. And when I click on Submit, my number has come. So hopefully you're able to follow that. So you can see my number has come over here. Dr. Neeraj, shall we stop this now? And we'll go with whatever we've got. So far, is it fine? Or do you want to wait for some more people to fill up? There we go. Les has managed to enter his number, which is the US number. Thanks for joining us from US. Okay. Dr. Neeraj, are you there? For some reason, I'm not able to hear you. I wanted to check if we should stop or we should wait. Has Dr. Neeraj gone for surgery? Or has he forgotten that this webinar is going on? Neeraj, your mic is muted. I can't hear you. Dr. Neeraj, are you there? Okay. I guess he is busy. All right. We'll take it as these are the numbers available for now in the demo. Now, what I can do is I can stop taking any more uh, responses. Okay, I'm just going to stop the responses and I'm going to take these details. So I'm going to change this to a number. Can you confirm if you guys can hear me? Anybody? Dr. Neeraj is the only person who can turn on their mic, right? So Neeraj, okay, yes, actually, yes. okay, yes. fine. All right, great. So I've just stopped taking any more uh, inputs here. And I'm going to basically sort this out. And I will put 91 in front of these numbers because they forgot to put 91. Uh, power tools start. And let's see. Let's some more chat here. Please share the link again. Rahul. It's up there in the same Google form. He might have got disconnected. Oh, okay. So do you want me to turn it on again? That's okay. No, now I've turned it off the Google form. No problem. Just keep it off. No problem. Rahul, we'll, uh, yeah, we can, uh, you can just have a look at it. This is just a demo. All right. So here is, I'm putting 91 in front of these uh, numbers. Let's see. One. Okay. Let me try and copy this to another sheet. 
is it because this is the main yeah, form maybe this is a google form so you cannot edit it something like that maybe maybe let's try now yeah right there we go so we just put 91 in front of these numbers uh, and uh, as far as these two i think the plus gets filtered out so let's try this out file download csv file and now we will go to uh, my choose file. I go to my downloads folder and I take ortho TV and open it. So it says, shows your available tags is split and first name. So let's say I say hi and then I click on first name. So it will automatically pick up the first name. You can say hi or, or dear, whatever you want. Test message. And then I can put split. And I can put a second message uh, like this. And then I can sign off. And if I want, let's say I wanted to take an image of mine, say attach, and I go to pictures. And let's say I take this bunch of lychees. And I say open. Do you like lychees? And I can put this uh, afterwards or before. So I'll click on after. Um, and then I click on submit. And it will start sending the messages out. So it says here, hi, Asim. So yeah, test message, right? And then after that, it's going to send the next one, which is how do you like this app? You'll notice that there's a seven second delay. We are trying to simulate a human being sending this message. Uh, this is so that it is not uh, viewed as some automation application. And so therefore uh, your number doesn't get blocked at the end of the day. Now this so is... So yeah. Rishi, if you see that, I'm just sure telling them that if you see now, Rishi has not saved these numbers on the top. You see, this is not saved and it's automatically going. He just pressed the button once. Yeah. And it's automatically breaking. There are two messages, three messages going one, two text messages and one photograph. My hands are here. I'm not touching this. Yes. <laughs> and, and while you're doing this, you know, the, the, here's the other thing is I cannot see if I try to screw around with the app. It says you're not allowed to touch anything while this bulk message app is doing its magic. <laughs> the most important is that there's a personalized message. So you will not know that it's a forwarded message or something like that. It's not just hi, it's just personal. Your name is there. Yeah, correct. Exactly. So what we would recommend is that not to, if you eventually buy this software, not to uh, use it like for spamming. Don't send thousand in a day, maximum, I think hundred and try start with your own contacts first means people who are recent patients. Correct. So okay. means supposing you have seen the patients in the last one week, send them to those first. So you will only get blocked if they, there are many people reporting you. Right. So you can always, you can always write a disclaimer when you're sending these messages that if you don't want to receive, just say reply with no. Right. Exactly. So this is the difference between the broadcast. Broadcast, you send it, it's gone. Here, it's going one at a time. Okay. So it's slower than sending a broadcast, but in my view, better because it's personalized. And you don't have to save their numbers. They don't have to save your numbers. You can just send them messages directly. There are some questions in the chat box. Let me have Let's take the questions. Yeah. No, I think that's all. Please share the link again, Nigel, and that's it. So uh, now what we do, Rishi, is that we are going to share with all of you two links, yeah. which is also there. If people who are seeing us on YouTube, that is also there in the YouTube uh, description. Uh, first link is of the, uh, Rishi, you can do it. First link is of the website where you can learn about how to use this app. It's called bulkmessageapp.com. You can just, yeah, he'll just uh, type it in the chat box. 
Yep, I'll do that. HTTP Actually, I that is the link bulkmessageapp.com and if you go here, you will go to this page which you can see on my screen and you'll need to access this course first. You'll have to sign up and once you sign up, you'll be able to uh, get access to these videos. The first video is how to download and install the app on your computer. So that's the first video. It's a five minute video. Watch that. And then the second video is how to send the bulk message, which we just did a demo for you, but it had the detailed in in information. Everything is video tutorial based. You can just play the video and try it out and do it yourself. And uh, for anybody that wants a, a demo, please uh, send me a screenshot after you have installed the app. So no point asking me for an activation code before that. And I'll give you an activation code for about one or two days, uh, which I think is sufficient. So only when you are ready to try it out, download the install app, because I'll give it for two days, test it all out, watch these videos. And of course, if you have questions, uh, ask us on WhatsApp. And if you want to buy it, get in touch with Neeraj. He will share the link with you, which is there on the YouTube video as well. So Rishi, what, what I would suggest is that what we normally do with all these webinars is that we'll make a temporary WhatsApp group and include you in this of all the people who have attended today and all the people who have registered. Fine. That's also good. Yes. That's and they can ask their queries in that after seeing these videos and we can solve them and they can send their screenshots. So it'll be easy for us to track also. Perfect. I think that's a brilliant idea. I would love that very much. Makes so we will make a WhatsApp group after this webinar uh, by to the tomorrow, tonight or tomorrow morning. And okay. then you can just ask all the queries. We will also share the links and yes. we will also share the links on how you can buy this software by Rishi. Super. We have got a special deal for all ortho TV viewers and yes. all of you who are registered for this webinar can uh, just basically uh, uh, will be in this group automatically unless you have a privacy setting on then. Correct. Okay, then I think if there are no more questions, we'll sign off for tonight. Thank you, Rishi. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. Thank yep. you. Bye-bye. See you.